My concern is when I start wrapping my hair, this is gonna move a bit too much. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a hair video. I feel like I haven't done one in a while on my channel, but this time I'm gonna do a heatless hair tutorial using a curling ribbon. Now I've seen this all over TikTok and I was planning to buy the one that I saw on TikTok, that specific brand, but I couldn't find it. They kept selling out, which always happens on TikTok. So instead I went to Etsy. I found something very similar, so similar. If you guys are interested in this particular one, they do come with a variety of different colors and they come with matching scrunchies. I'll leave the shop down below. What's different about this one compared to other ones that I've seen is that the center part is flat. And I think I kind of prefer it that way since it is going to be sitting on my head like this and I'm going to be going to sleep. And usually I don't like things like this just because I tend to move around when I sleep and I just don't like anything in my hair. I tend to put my hair up in a bun or just something really loose and something like this can fall out. So I am curious how well this is going to look. Like, am I gonna get that voluminous waves or is it going to look really bad and kind of like choppy? I just want a heatless method that will work on my hair and give me beautiful curls. Now I've tried the robe, which was all right. I feel like I should try that again. If you guys want to see me do that, let me know down below. I've also seen people do socks. What else have people done? I feel like everyone has just done whatever they have at their house and put in their hair and just see what they can do. And some of it turns out great, like their front pieces, but then in the back, it just looks like an absolute disaster. So so we'll see. Now one thing I deal with is frizzy hair and if I'm going to sleep even with a silk pillowcase my hair can get a little messy. I'm hoping by smoothing my hair and putting in some products ahead of time we're at a good start. So I'm going in with the Gazoo polishing primer. I'm just going to use a little bit. Usually I would use this in damp hair but you can also use it on dry hair. Next I'm going in with the Gazoo honey infused hair oil. I'm waiting for my puppy to settle down because she just keeps whimpering. You guys can probably hear that. She's very cute. I recently adopted her, but it's been a little bit harder to film. If you guys want to see her, I'll have her Instagram right here. We also have a YouTube channel on her where we kind of just vlog. It's more casual if you guys want to see more lifestyle. And just my boyfriend and I raising a puppy, check her channel out. This is made out of satin, which is really great for your hair. I don't know if you guys have heard, but if you have satin scrunchies or a satin pillowcase or silk, silk is a little more bougie. I will say I do have silk scrunchies and a silk pillowcase and it makes a world of a difference. It really reduces your frizz in your hair and it's also just better for your hair. It doesn't break your hair as easily if you were to use a regular scrunchie. So just so you guys know. And then inside, this is like a cushion. It's pretty comfortable, which is very important since I am going to be sleeping with this on. So everyone has just placed it on the top of their head. My concern is when I start wrapping my hair, this is gonna move a bit too much. So I'm going to pin it for now and then I'll take it out after I put everything up. So I'm using something like this, pinning it at the top and I've already parted my hair ahead of time. Make sure to part your hair in half. Now, since I want this to be more voluminous and big curls, I am going to be using larger sections. I'm going to start off with the front pieces that frame my face. And what you're going to do is you're just going to wrap it around once and then grab some more and then keep wrapping. And you're also going to be grabbing hair from the back. So like this. Again, I'm choosing to use larger sections because I want really big waves, but if you want something tighter, I would use smaller sections. Now that was pretty quick. This was so much easier than a robe. And with the scrunchies that were provided, I'm just going to tie off the ends, make sure they are pretty secure because you are going to be sleeping in them. You don't necessarily have to. You could also just wait I don't know, probably four or five hours. I really want these curls to last. So if you have hair that tends to fall out, the wave pattern just doesn't stay in your hair for very long. I would definitely do this overnight. Once I done, not too bad. I'll show you guys the back. And then I'm just gonna repeat on the other side. Starting off with the front, go around once, grab some hair, make sure to grab hair from behind the ribbon, not just the front. <laughs> And you really 
want the ribbon snug against your head. See how it feels secure and it's not like out here. And then just secure with the scrunchie. Now, even with my hair length, this worked really well. As you guys can see, there's still a little bit. My hair goes just a little bit below my chest. Now, this is the only size they have. I don't believe they have multiple sizes. So if you have super long hair, I'm not sure how well this would work. Like you would have to go over this quite a few times and it might not be as curled and defined as you would like it to be. But this looks really cute and I'm excited to see what it looks like tomorrow morning. I will see you guys early tomorrow morning with the results. Good morning guys. Yes, I'm still wearing the same shirt. There was no way I was gonna change my shirt with this on. There's just no way. Like I would totally mess this up. Now how this looks, it looks pretty good. Now one tip I do wanna share with you guys is one, I put a clip back here just to anchor the two ends. Now I didn't sleep with the clip because it would have been very uncomfortable since it is located on the back of my neck. I just did that when I was preparing myself to go to sleep, you know, my nighttime skincare routine, washing my face, all of that. So I do recommend that because it is here and since they are twisted, it does slowly unravel. It's not gonna stay as tight when you first started it. As someone who moves around when she sleeps, this looks pretty good. I really tried not to move too much especially since I was sleeping on the couch and just looking over my new puppy. Her name's Boo. So this looks pretty good for someone who slept on the couch. Let's take the clip out. All right, let's see if it was working. I can make you happy. We can get crazy. Anytime. Until she texts me. Until then she all catch up. I will say my hair feels very smooth. They're very voluminous. And do you see that shine? That's because of the products that I use. And then also since this is satin, it just reduces all of the frizz. I'm just gonna flip my hair, shake it up, toss a little, toss a little bit. Oh my gosh, there is so much volume. Wow, this is not bad. Now the only thing is the pieces in the front, basically my curtain bangs that have overgrown, they did start to come out so they don't have much of a curl pattern. They do slightly, but not bad. Something else that I noticed is that it looks a bit flat right here around the crown. And I think that's because just the way it lied. So maybe if I gathered a little more hair from the back, that could have helped, but I'm not really too sure because I do remember having that problem with the robe. So I don't know, but this is so much better than the robe. Overall, better results. I'm going to brush out the curls a little bit more. I want something a little more relaxed and not as defined. That already looks so much better and just more up my alley. I don't really like tight curls. I do it every now and then for a specific look, but I like something more tousled. Just to finish it off, I am going to add a couple more drops of the Yizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. Overall, my final opinion, I do recommend these. These are so great. This is nice that they added the scrunchies and that they match. It's really cute and very helpful just holding the hair in at the ends. Now, the one negative is, and you might be able to tell, See how there's like this divot right here? It's almost as if I wore a hat last night and just slept in it. I prefer a little more volume at the crown, so maybe starting up here. Now I think you can probably mask it a little bit with some dry shampoo just to add a little more volume just right here. But just keep in mind when you place it here, just look how the shape is. Like no wonder there's that slight bend going on right here. But besides that, these curls look so good. They are voluminous and they feel like they're gonna stay in, especially since I wore them overnight. It's just a really pretty option, especially if you wanna avoid heat and you just wanna, I don't know, try something new, try something trendy. It's just a lot of fun. I definitely want to do this again, play around with it, maybe see other options and trying to avoid this bend if I do something else. I also want to try it on my natural hair. Now I prepped my hair very well before I put this in. I really want to see just with my natural hair texture with that wave and bend. So I might do that on my Instagram. Definitely check that out. I'll leave it down below. If I were to rate this, I would give it an eight and a half. 
just because of that bend but even just playing with my hair putting it like side to side it's just not as noticeable so i definitely recommend just shaking it a little bit brushing it out and i think you'll be good to go i hope you guys enjoyed this review slash tutorial if you guys want to see more heatless tutorials let me know down below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content i'll see you in another video bye yeah, hey, I'm